Hi, Ashley. It's Dr. Karen. So I want to give you a little verbal feedback to go along with my written feedback uh, in uh, the grade book and then look at the uh, rubric as well. Uh, this is uh, what I, I really enjoy this kind of uh, opportunity to have uh, students uh, participate in presentations and in an online environment it's it's kind of difficult because you don't get the opportunity to stand before a group of uh, fellow students and present. Uh, however, uh, this is a, a great time to practice uh, presentations and uh, you did a you did a great job with this and so I, I may sound a little nitpicky uh, on some of my comments, uh, but I just uh, want to be able to uh, give you some feedback that uh, you can continue to hone your skills uh, on presentations. And probably the first comment is as you got started, it took you probably a minute and a half to two minutes to uh, get off your first slide. And so uh, as I'm watching this and looking at it, I'm listening to you and seeing you in the corner, uh, which was uh, very effective and good. Uh, there were times when you were actually looking at the camera, other times obviously when, when you couldn't. Uh, but uh, I would say spend a little briefer time uh, getting started into your first page. One thought, uh, since you were uh, referencing to Netflix, uh, it might have been helpful to do a brief summary of what uh, Netflix values were and what their culture uh, is that they were trying to create, and then uh, briefly show how they map and align uh, with uh, Chick-fil-A's. Uh, so if you're recommending some best practices or some ideas that are coming out of Netflix, show where they map to make stronger uh, the values that uh, Chick-fil-A has. So that's uh, one, one opportunity for you uh, to consider. And then just looking at your slide, uh, honesty is the best policy. I like that hook. That was excellent. Uh, however, I wouldn't make it as a question. Uh, I'd make it more as a statement and uh, as you go forward. So just a minor aspect there. And then uh, you did a good job showing the, the pros and the cons or the benefits and the challenges are really what you wanted to emphasize. So if you want to do these things, what would be the benefit to Chick-fil-A? And you identified that really well. Uh, but the challenges uh, represented to overcome uh, to do those. And you did a good job uh, with that as well. So uh, you went through and identified three areas, uh, and actually maybe a fourth when you consider uh, leadership development and discuss that. What I would have liked is that uh, looking at the first aspects of uh, when you go to uh, the rubric, you'll see this, the recommendations and rationale are part two. And uh, your recommendations uh, came up, should be kind of a, a summary, but should also, you talked about those as you went through uh, and kind of a thread. So your uh, recommendations showed like a brief summary, but again, uh, an opportunity to really expand on that and provide more rationale of uh, adopting those. And so when you look through the points uh, and uh, specific rationale to implement them, uh, convincingly explain how your ideas will transform the organization, uh, that's where your confidence and kind of command of the presentation comes through. So you did a good job with your delivery. Uh, one thing to think about is that aspect of how do I project uh, confidence uh, in this uh, presentation as these are the right things to do for the organization and the right thing to do for employees and why. And so uh, those were just uh, some general comments. But uh, with that, I, I really enjoyed your presentation. A great uh, start, well use of technology. Uh, so I, I uh, thank you for all your effort that you put into it. And again, this is a learning experience uh, as well. And so we get to practice and apply these principles. Good incorporation of uh, Netflix, uh, as well as uh, Jack's uh, thoughts as it related to this. And, and I also thought your Andy Stanley quote, uh, given that um, he, uh, he's in the backyard of Chick-fil-A's headquarters, uh, is probably a good one. And, and there might even be some uh, people attending uh, his church. I don't know. But uh, that wasn't lost on me. So uh, see the rubric, but see my other uh, verbal, or actually, excuse me, written uh, comments as well. Take care. Bye.